Last year I did a zero dollar deer feeder video and I used a uh, bucket similar to this and it didn't cost me anything to build but after two or three months I had either uh, squirrels or coons chewed a hole in the uh, top so I decided to uh, build it out of a uh, metal can that I got at Tractor Supply and it cost uh, 15 or 16 dollars so uh, I'll take you down there and uh, show you what we got and how I uh, have it uh, set up This ladder set up with these holes in it from the factory and they come in real handy when I'm uh, loading my feeder. A lot of times there's, a lot of times there's still feed in it, but once I pour the feed in the top, it, it gets heavy. So I put that, uh, I put this uh, wood, it's actually a broom handle. I put it down in the hole and then I drop it straight down. And then I can feel it right here lift it back up on my hook on my chain you got to use chain because they'll chew the rope and it's got to be far enough to where a coon can't get over on top of your can i'll show you for a loading if you're gonna build one gonna build one I'm gonna have to stop and clean this old mildew corn out of there the lid stays on by the handle you can silicone this there is some water that gets in there so you can silicone around that I hadn't done that but uh, you can do that to keep any moisture out but I go through some pretty good amount of corn. All this is is a broom handle on some number nine wire. And you want to make sure it's low enough to where it doesn't interfere with where the lid goes across the top. Let's see. Measure this hole here. If you want to, you can go see uh, my original video on the zero dollar feeder, and it gives you, it tells you exactly how to build it. But this hole here is right at an inch and five eighths, and the uh, broom handle is one inch, so it's oversized five eighths. Now you can wrap electric tape around it. If it uh, doesn't work like you want, you can uh, build it up where it exits the uh, bottom. The corn exits the bottom, you can build it up with tape. Also, you can put tape on the top here to keep it centered where it hangs straight. 
And uh, I got another video called Worm Getters uh, Homestead Critters. And it'll show you on my uh, game camera them deer coming to the feeder. But uh, I have this up off the ground. We'll have to hang it. I'll fill it and hang it. And I'll tell you how much it has to be off the ground to keep the uh, raccoons out. I'm probably going to silicone this this year because some of it does get moldy in the bottom and I don't want that. I want good see. You can see, you might be able to see that crack in there. So I don't really like that. Matter of fact, I might take the handle out of it then silicone the crack without the handle in it. That'd probably work better. It's over there real nice, it's full of corn. The handle holds the top on tight. Alright. Got some corn on the ground. He dead gum holds like it too. gotta do is touch it and see how tall it is. That's right at 40, 43 inches. Now I use my game camera to set the height because uh, that way eventually none of the coons could reach that uh, the uh, broom handle at 43 inches. But well, I can show you a closer look at how it uh, distributes the corn. You don't want a big, you don't want a big pile of corn on the ground. But uh, you'll be able to watch it come out of the bottom. You should be able to just touch it like that so I'm not going to uh, get any more corn on the ground but that's a good start we'll get them coming back here in just a little bit well uh, if you're interested in this type of deer feeder uh, go check my other videos out, and I'll leave leave them in the uh, thumbnails at the bottom at the uh, at the end of the video. So it works great, and it's a good project, you know, for a father and son. I, I find it. It's more pleasing, you know, to build something like this that works than to go uh, buy something. But, you know, this ain't a hunting club here. It's just, and it's just a basic deer feeder. So I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, we'll see you later.